tools of the trade. We got, we got two jars here, okay? The lid, cut a inch screen, put that in there. Now I've got my testing facility here, okay? Now I'm gonna go get into a hive real quick. sugar in there yet but they're just struggling to get out so but I, I, I want a, I want a nice half cup to a cup now I'll take just take a couple pinches of sugar, powdered sugar Rotate it. I'm gonna rotate these girls. I'm gonna get everybody coated. And the secret to the accuracy of this test is the following. Ready for it? Yeah. Secret? Sure. Ten minutes. Don't start shaking out the bees immediately. Okay. Give them ten minutes to start cleaning each other. And to start knocking the mites off, put it in the shade so they don't get baked, and give it 10 minutes. That I do a sampling of each yard. And so that way I know if one hive out of 100 has a high mite count, I gotta treat all of them. You have bees that accidentally go into other hives and that's how mites, diseases, and everything else spreads. I know that this is the gentler way to do it, but are you still losing a bunch of bees doing this? Right You'll now? see. That's right. <laughs> Presto change it. Good. Good. Stir that up. All right, so how many mites do you count? What is that? Those blood suckers. Those, Two? Those, those, yep, those red dots. from a dog. Yep. If, if, if it's below six, you're good to go. If it's more than six, you really got to think about treating for beekeepers. It's the stuff that you do right now that will determine whether or not you have a hive in the spring. So they're just little ghost bees and the sisters say, what in the hell happened? Oh, you taste good though. <laughs>